it's me again. Hi Virgos out there, are you ready for your weekly predictions starting Monday, tomorrow, October 12th, going all the way to Sunday, October 15th. Sorry, my brain's a little scattered. I'm a Virgo too, so I'm very excited to do my fellow Virgos. So let's see what this week's going to look like. We're starting with some proverbs and some quotes to get a little bit of idea of what you might be facing and going through this week. Then we're going to go to some sayings. I pre-drew some stuff and then we're going to draw some stuff live just to save a little time. So let's get right into it. My Virgadiers, I call you, <laughs> like musketeers, my Virgadiers out there. Look in the mirror. You're unique. You have value. Always love yourself. I got that off Twitter. I don't know who said it. But look in the mirror this week. Love yourself. This is all about self-love this week. I feel like you might be a little bit on low vibes out there, Virgo, which is easy to do in the state of the world. I've, we've all been hit hard this year. I feel like emotionally, you've been through a lot, Virgo, lately. I wish life had a rewind button. Uh-oh. You might have be harping on a mistake you made or regretting a choice you didn't make. I'm definitely getting those vibes really in your head about it. I don't know. I don't think it's just this week. I think this has been for a while. You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. Dr. Seuss. Ah. Let me read that again because I paused. <laughs> you know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. So, I'm getting some regret, regret with this. Uh, why can't I speak? You're very choked up over here, Virgos. I feel like this is about a love you let get by you in some sense. That you're finally recognizing lately that that is real love for you. What you thought was real love isn't. Um, you could have left and gone down a different path, whether it's work or a, another partner. Um, I feel like you're regretting walking away from true love. Or you could be seeing them a lot in your dreams as well. I long to sit here and watch the minutes tick by, just thinking of you. Unknown quote, but I loved it. I really wish I knew who said it. <laughs> uh, you've been sitting and, and pondering about regretting not going after this love or not making your feelings known. They could have chosen someone. You might not have walked away. They might have chosen a different lover over you because you didn't make your feelings known. Or you walked away from them and chose someone else. Could be either or here. I'm getting both vibes. Alright. Rome was not conquered in a single day. You can overcome this. You just need to think and create a solid plan. I feel like you want to go back and get this love. Like you want to do it like yesterday. Sorry, my phone's dinging if you heard that. If you heard that. Heard that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's getting a little sleepy over here. I only got two hours of sleep, but I love you, Virgos. I will. I will stay up just to do your reading. Um, you can't just go and get it done. Like, this is going to take some planning. This is going to take some thinking and making sure this is exactly what you want. Because I feel like in the past, past, you've been going back and forth. I really do feel like you're recognizing that this person is your one. Maybe you feel like you're losing them or you lost them to someone else so you want to come rushing in here. But they're reminding you, Rome wasn't built in the day. Have a solid plan how you're going to conquer the situation. Because I feel like you're going to have to put up a little bit of a fight to get this person back. Whatever transpired in the past, um, you're going to have to have a sit down here. So you need to have a solid plan on what you're going to say and what you're going to do and how you're going to go about this. Because I feel like... Not that anyone has to prove themselves. I'm not saying they're going to like be hostile or anything, but you might have to prove to them that you are serious this time. How are you going to prove that you're serious if you're just barging without a plan? Understand where I'm going with this? <laughs> Ooh, own it. Stand by what you believe and what you're doing. Love yourself and speak your mind. Own it. You're on fire. So, I feel like this is a creative vibe. This might be more about work. You might want to do something that people are just like, no, that's going to be horrible. Like, why are you doing that? That's so ridiculous. 
but your inner calling is like screaming at you, like, just do it anyway. And I feel like you are now specifically in this time taking more steps about things that you want to do in your life that are helpful to you and make your heart happy and you're not really listening to anyone else. I feel like that's also about your love situation. So I feel like, again, this is another work-love situation. But you're on fire with your, your... If you are making a plan to come towards and own this love, maybe you want to work with a lover, you're, you're on fire with it. Spirit's giving you the thumbs up here. If it's not to do with love and this is more about work, they're still giving you a thumbs up. Only you could know if it's love and work or both. But I'm getting both vibes. I'm not sure where they're going just yet. Tomorrow is a brand new day. Tomorrow means you get to start new. Tomorrow means you still have more time. But tomorrow's eventually end for us all. Don't let tomorrow make a fool of you. Don't let it shake or break you. Welcome it as the blessing it is and say thank you. Ooh. I wrote that. I channeled. <laughs> channeled. The longer ones are messages from me. They're not quotes. But spirit gives me some good shit sometimes. I read them for the first time sometimes with you because I'm just writing what I hear. So basically, you're a little bit overwhelmed. You're thinking about the past and all the mistakes you made. You're thinking about your future and you're being very stressed out on how to get your future right, especially with this day and age that we're going in. But hit the brakes. Okay, tomorrow will come for you and you should be thankful if it comes for you because eventually tomorrow's run out. So stop looking at your past too much and stop looking forward too much. Live in the now, appreciate the now, and see the beauty of now. That's basically what they're saying. Ooh, center stage. Limelight is here or coming. You're about to shine like a diamond. Success is near. Wish fulfillment is coming. Ooh. I heard love and work again. So I feel like... You might be working with a lover or work is how you're going to pull that love back in if that makes sense but you two are going to shine like little diamonds together it's going to be big whatever you're about to do good stuff i like good news all right this is messages oh notes from the universe on love and connection i've already done that three times you think i remember what it's called Ugh, sundays start where you are Ooh, the great thing about feeling deep profound earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone love next the universe this person shook you up and I think you ran I think you that's what happened in the past like you never felt this way about anybody nobody ever connected to you or read you or shook you up inside gave you the butterflies like this person I feel like you skedaddled you were like so scared. You're like, I can't deal with this. I don't even know what this, oh, this can't be real. This is crazy. I'm getting all those vibes and you took off. You might have chose a lover that was easier to maintain that didn't make you feel any type of way in there and you're really regretting it. So this might be a time where you need to step away from someone who's bad for you and go back for someone who's good for you. Or this is about loving yourself. You can't love somebody else right until you love yourself. So just start where you are. Where Stop thinking about what you got to do, making this plan, future, past. You're like so up in your head. Stop. Focus on you. Love yourself. Raise your vibes. Center yourself. Ground yourself, Virgos. It's very important for you to connect to Earth. As a Virgo, Earth is your sign. So getting outside, getting some fresh air, getting some sun, sitting down and thinking about like thinking of you up here, thinking of your person, thinking about what you want. Why did you run? What do you want from this person? Why are you so connected to this person? I feel like no matter what you do, you can't shake this person. Your mind keeps going back. It's because you're missing something vital. And the people that are meant for us in our lives, they're not going to go away. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how far you move away, no matter who else you love besides them, no one's ever going to top them. It's like a nagging little flick from the universe. Like, now, this is your person. <laughs> I feel like that's what's going on with you. You're getting all these signs and synchronicities about this person, this relationship, this dream work thing that's going to go off good for you. You're just all up in here. So stop. Focus on you because it's too much right now. Dwell on what you love. Exactly. Asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Ne neither will ever be the same. Scarier still is that you can 
You can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. Love, I wouldn't change a leaf on you, the universe. I feel like the one that you chose over this person, um, either you're trying to change them into this person that you walked away from, or they're trying to change everything about you, and you're recognizing like, I don't like it. I don't like it. This doesn't feel right, but I'm going along with it because I don't want to make waves. Hello, Virgo. That's never going to work out for anyone. Don't just follow the lead. Virgo, let me just tell you. Virgos were meant to be generals on this earth. I have never met a Virgo that didn't have some kind of power. And I'm not being braggadocious. It just comes with the sign. You are meant for great things. All Virgos are. So, embrace your unique things about yourself. Like, this is about center stage and owning it. This is about you doing what your heart tells you to do. You're only going to shine when you're following your heart. If you're following someone else's lead, you're always going to fall short. Because Virgos were meant to lead, especially in this day and age. Dwell on what you love, which is this person you let go of, and not the one you're with, I'm hearing. I'm hearing the Usher song, leave the one you're with, start a new relationship with you. The whole verse is going through my head right now, so you might want to listen to that out there. All right, let's get some Angel Tarot. Number eight, ooh, an infinity number. Justice is coming for you. I don't know if it's coming, but I meant to say that. I didn't mean to say it. It just flew out of my mouth. I meant to say justice, but it's coming for you. Spirit kicked out. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. This is about you standing up about work. Like, this isn't for me. This isn't doing it for me. This isn't, I heard making me look bad, smearing my name, making me feel like shit about myself because I'm not following my own order, my own voice. I feel like you're like reading a script. I'm just picturing someone reading a script. And like as you're reading it, you're like, why am I saying this? I don't agree with this. What the F? <laughs> but you're saying it because you don't want to hurt anyone else. You don't want to rock the boat. I feel like you're already like si I'm seeing signing a contract. So you might even be married to someone else. But I feel like you're going to get justice on this. This could be a divorce. This could be you finally... Saying, like, you're not the person for me, and I know I'm not the person for you. You're not happy. I'm not happy. We need to do something. It could even be a conversation. But I feel like this, this path you took on away from your lover because you were scared just effed your whole day up, if that makes sense. This is about you recognizing that you are a Virgo. You have a specific calling in here that's just nagging the F out of you. It's a person and a job, and I feel like you want both. But you're not going after what you want. You're kind of appeasing because you already signed a contract. You already went into, I feel like, a marriage with somebody else. In some sense, it could be about work. Any kind of contract situation, you already are obligated to something else, and you feel guilty about feeling this way which i feel like just means you're a good person but at the end of the day are you going to sit here and regret for the rest of your life and have a life you don't want and die always regretting not getting your love and your dream job or are you going to do something about it virgo stand up now it's time to stand up you have power you have an inner light in here you got to call on it they will help you i feel like you're just very scared to get that mm. To fight on for yourself. Eight of air. An illusion of being trapped. A lack of self-confidence. Afraid to take action. Exactly. I feel like this person that you entered in a contract with has tried to change you. And has and trying to change you has beat up your self-confidence and your self-esteem. I feel like they're very mean. They're very cruel to you. They, have, they need you in the lack mentality. They need you lesser than them. I don't know if this is like a narcissistic situation or about control, like having to have control in all projects. I don't know if you work with this person, but you just feel like you're trapped. Like that even if you wanted to go towards this job, even if you wanted to go towards this person in your mind, you're like, I can't. I'm married. I have a family. I have to do this. I already illusion, 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 illusion. Do you think you're the first one in this planet to get a divorce? No. And you're certainly not going to be the last. Are you the first person that tried to make a relationship work and found out down the road that you're just not right for each other? 
that does that make you a shitty person no it does not it makes you human okay we learn from our mistakes maybe you couldn't appreciate the real love without seeing shitty love maybe you didn't even know what love was until this person came into your life until this job thing came into your mind and made you realize this is what i want maybe you really were on board with this person that you're with and your job until you started to see the truth of it so you went down the wrong path so you made a mistake that's all part of your journey it was all meant and sometimes we get stuck in those illusions because we're scared that if we give up a love if we give up a job you know we're going to lose everything but do you ever stop and think that maybe what you're going to gain is going to blow your top in a way you never imagined maybe you're going to have a love so strong so ground shaking earth shattering that you can't even remember being with anybody else and you're going to be so happy and they're not going to try to change you or the strap could it even be the job that they just say hey this is awesome just be yourself do your thing like i don't know I'm just getting somebody past the microphone and just letting it rip instead of getting a strict uh strict script and just having to read it verbatim now you get now you get the power of your own voice and you're going to feel so free like you don't you spend all this time picturing the bad and all the things you have to do over what you want to do and what might come from doing what you want to do and if you're forcing hand hands on things like forcing a job you hate forcing a love you don't really want it's going to keep biting you in the ass and it's going to go bad and worse and get worse and get worse and get worse until you decide to walk away. Spirit and the universe will kick you and the junk until you throw up a new life. <laughs> Basically is what will happen. I feel like that's what's happening to you now. You're just stuck in this illusion of being trapped. Nobody is trapped. You can get up and leave at any time. Doesn't make you a shitty person. Doesn't mean that I heard kids. You might be worried about having to leave your kids, but a million parents out there co-parent a million other relationships have made it work and made it work and figured it out it might be bumpy at first but you will figure it out and in the end you will both be happy and because you're both happy you're going to be better parents to your kids that's when you stay and you fight and you're miserable you're teaching your kid a bad example of love relationships life you don't want to teach the wrong example so don't don't feed into this illusion of being trapped. Ooh, the lovers, number six. Intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. This is the person, I heard, person you left behind. You are meant, like, see them cuddling? I don't know. You can't get your mind off this person because it's meant. You're being divinely guided. You're being divinely pushed. You were always meant to be lovers. But carefully weigh your decisions and take care of your health. Um, I don't feel like you're going to be ready for to be that lover until you get out of the illusion of you're stuck. You're stuck with a lover you don't want, I heard. And you gave up a love you do want. That's ridiculous. It's like having a feast in front of you, but choosing to starve to death. Instead of reaching over, taking a piece of that fucking turkey and biting into it. Even though you're so fucking starving, you're looking at the turkey, your mouth's watering, but you're not taking a bite. You're just going to sit there for three weeks and starve to death because you are under the illusion that you don't deserve the turkey for some, for some silly reason. I feel like it has a lot to do with your self-esteem. you got to put your confidence back into yourself. All right, let's get some live draws from the Magdalene Oracle. What's going to happen for Virgos out there? Sorry to get super preachy on you, Virgo, but I think you need to hear it. Yes, time to be the real you. Stop playing a part, I heard. Stop going along with everybody else's routine, everyone else's script. Throw it away. They give you a script. Not today, sunshine. This is me. I don't care if you don't like it. Maybe we should part ways if you can't stand it. Because this is me, and I'm going to be me from now on. Hello, sunshine. No more. I just feel like you have a collar around your neck and somebody just keeps pulling it. I don't know if it's a person or a work situation, but they're like stifling your voice. They're stifling your potential. 
And then we have God. Ooh. Ooh. You are a divine one, okay? You got a divine purpose and you're ignoring basically you're ignoring your purpose because you feel stuck. So they're divinely kicking your butt and have been for a while. I feel like this week is about you taking your power back from the people that are eating at you and giving you the script and telling you you don't deserve the real love or you telling yourself you don't deserve it. Time to let that go. I feel like this week, you're just going to wake up and be like, I don't want to be in this part anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I keep hearing that. So you're just going to stand your ground and stand in your power here, which is good. Yeah, you got a guardian angel. I heard mother. I don't know if your mother is deceased. Or you're going to go to your mother for advice. You got a feminine energy that's like all over you, like white on rice, especially this week, about you finally being yourself. It needs to happen. I heard it needs to happen. It's time. It's time, Virgo. Stand your ground. Stand. You're the fucking prophet, okay? <laughs> You're the prophet. You have a big divine purpose in your life. You are meant to do something grand and you're ignoring it for something not serving you. Which means, like, the grand scheme of it, good against evil. You're letting evil win because you're not doing your good. You're not walking on this earth doing good. You're, like, creating smog, I heard. Like, smearing the good and hazing it behind lies. Like you're lying to yourself and you're lying to everybody else because you're not being the real you. This week you're going to be like, you know what? The divine purpose is going to hit you in the face because you're going to be on center stage. You're going to be owning it. I feel like the first time you really stand up and put your own stamp on it, you're going to get such positive feedback. You're going to be like, yes, <laughs> this is what I should have been doing all along. You might have that kind of moment this week. So that's that. That's good stuff. That's Wisdom of the Tula deck to close out for Virgo this week. Oh, Virgo. You're so happy. Oh, exactly. You're going to get that applause for finally being you and doing your own thing. Doing your own thing. Not following the script. Not doing what everybody else wants. You're making what everybody else not making everybody else comfortable. This is about you doing what you want, following your own voice, being your real self, and people are gonna be like, yes, yes. Especially this feminine energy up here, guardian angel, and probably this love of yours, the real one that you walked away from. What else do we got for you, Virg? Ooh, got a savior? Somebody's gonna come in and help you. Or you're getting, either someone's going to step in and tell you it's time. It's time for you to be the real you. Or you feel that this love that you gave up is saving you in some sense. I'm getting that. You could be being inspired by them to be yourself. The one who gave up. Or you want to come in and save the relationship you gave up. Or this is you saving yourself by... Getting the heck out of Dodge. Oh, I heard getting out of Dodge. Are you a soldier? <laughs> okay, so we have live and let live. Exactly. So you chose wrong. So it wasn't for you. You tried something and it didn't work out. Guess what? Do you know how many times I've done that? I've like, yes, this is a job for me. I'm moving here. I'm just going to do it. And it just, I fell on my face. Failure. Over and over and over and over. That's how you learn. That's how you become a better person. You had to fail to become this prophet. Own it now. <laughs> live the life you want to live and let other people live their life and figure it out. You don't need to be anyone's puppet. You don't need to just sit there because you signed a contract. So the fuck what? It's a piece of paper. It doesn't bind you. That's a trap in your mind. All right, let's close it out for Virgies. Virgies. <laughs> yes, balance yourself. You're so off balance. You're listening to too many people. And you're not listening to yourself. You're also an earth sign. You need to go out on earth and, and feel it. Feel it in your soul. Close your eyes. Nobody around you. This is when they speak to you most. What are they telling you? Go to this lover, then do it. 
go do this job, do it. Don't question it. Stop being stuck in your mind. New beginnings are coming if you want it. You can have it. They are going to support you. New beginnings are coming this week. Even if it's not like a physical new begin beginning, it's like you finally saying no. Finally saying no. I don't want to participate in this. I don't want to say this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to pretend to be in love anymore. I don't want to hold your hand through things. I don't know why I'm hearing all this, but that could be your new beginning. You standing up for yourself. Play. Let that inner child out. Have fun. Be silly. To balance yourself and balance your mood. I watch comedy. Comedy makes me laugh. I feel like you need to let that inner child out of the box. Because you've been so serious lately. Be playful. Be flirty. Play with life. Don't be so uptight. I don't know why I heard Virgos, we are uptight. I know that's a hard word, but we all hate that word, but it's true. We are a little bit uptight. Time to pull the broomstick out of our butts and just let our inner child out. Yeah, with authenticity, be yourself. Don't play a part no more for anyone. That's the strongest advice I have for you and where I'm going to close it. Be authentic, whatever that means to you. Don't worry about nothing else. Just be authentic to what your body and your heart says. You don't owe anybody anything. Okay? Love and light. See you next week. Bye, Virgos.